What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. So this is a two part video. Today we are checking out not one, but two locks from this company called Lockly. First we have the Flex Touch Deadbolts and then we have this very unique Vision Smart Lock plus video doorbell. So the intro for both videos is gonna look the same uh, and I will make sure I'll put the link somewhere up here as well as in the description so we can check both of them out. And in order to be able to easily do the installation and demonstrate and test this, I got this handy rig I built. It's like a little mini door and I get to do the entire installation testing right here on my desk so I can get a really good feel for how this thing works and be able to explain it to you without compromising because this is legit a real door I bought yesterday and I cut it and put it on a stand. So anyways, let me pull up the camera, do the unboxing, and don't forget to check out both videos. So this is the Flex Touch Deadbolt, very subtle smart lock. So from outside, it doesn't have this huge keypad. If you wanna have that kind of like a low key smart lock action going on, uh, use your fingerprint obviously, and you can use the key. Um, mobile control is available, auto locking feature is available, stores up to 99 fingerprints, and you have optional voice control, I believe with uh, uh, Google and Amazon. Let's see, what else do we have? Real-time monitoring and status, grant access when you're not home, so you have remote access to the lock. Yes, yeah, so it works with uh, Alexa and Google Assistant, and it works with four AA batteries. Owner's manual, we're definitely gonna need that. Activation card, obviously I have my code blurred out, but make sure you do not lose this. This is how you activate your device. There you go. So some of the hardware screws and keys right here. This is the outside unit that, like I said, it looks very subtle and simple, which I do appreciate because if many people don't want to scream that I have a smart lock, Something like this could be perfect for them. You have app control, key control, remote access, and fingerprints. So this is the first look at the lock. This is the inside unit, mounting bracket. This seems much lighter than I anticipated. So I already see a ton of different notes and instructions. And that's pretty much it, everything you get inside the box. Let's get it installed. So the first step is we're gonna go ahead and install the deadbolt. And for that, you need to get a flathead and make sure this is extended. And this piece is gonna be at the bottom. So not like this, it's gonna be like this. So there are, depending on the size of door you have, you may have this extended this way or shorter like this. So for example, mine, it's an exterior door, or I'm sorry, interior door. So it's gonna go on the shorter side, like this. Just like that, very simple to adjust this. All right, step two, we're gonna go ahead and install this. You want to go ahead, pass this from underneath the deadbolt and have this in a vertical position and slide it right in. Step three, we're gonna go ahead and install this mounting bracket. We're gonna pass this through this bottom piece right here. Then we're gonna use these very two long screws right here to secure this in place. This is your first look at the mounting bracket on this side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install this back piece right here. Note, when properly installed the lever will be in the up position when the door is locked. So when it's locked like this, this has to be at the top. So they have a specific guide how to route that this cable back of this to connect. So make sure you follow this. So you remove the battery cover and then you will use these two smaller screws to try to fasten this in its place. Before installing the last battery, press and hold the program button while installing the last battery until you hear a beep. 
Lockly will perform a self test and then we push and hold program while we're installing the last battery. Now we can install the battery cover, which would slide down and there's only one small screw at the top. And step five is installing this on the other side of the door, uh, on your door frame essentially. And step six is installing the app. So I'm gonna install the app and then see how that works out. All right, so first I'll go add a new device. And this is Flex Touch. And this is where it's asking for that activation card. As you can see, it is pretty quick to lock and unlock using the app. So in order for you to have remote access, you need to get this secure link Wi-Fi hub. It's a very small piece adapter that will just plug into a power brick and then to your wall. So you need that for the remote ads access. So besides that, in order for you to be able to lock and unlock using your phone, you gotta be nearby. So let's try to go ahead and set up uh, a fingerprint access and see how that works out. So we're gonna add a fingerprint, add a new fingerprint. Oh, start. So you can lock and unlock with it. It is pretty fast. One thing I wanted to keep in mind, if you lock and unlock from the unit itself, it doesn't necessarily show the correct status here. So you just need to keep that in mind. So because it was previously unlocked and I locked it from the device using my fingerprint, it doesn't show it's locked. I'm wondering if I had locked, what would it do right now? It just confirms that it's locked already. So it's not gonna go ahead and unlock it for you. So even though it doesn't show real time status, if you're not sure, hit it to lock it and it will tell you if it's already locked. So what do we have in the setting? You can actually have quick access widget. That is actually pretty handy. Auto lock timer, 30 seconds. Oh, there you go. Oh, what is this sync with Lockly? Oh yeah. So the, the, the sync option, if you turn that on, so this will show the correct status. So just ignore everything I said previously. Add Wi-Fi to your lock. So that's where you can go probably purchase this unit, which costs uh, 80 bucks. So real quick, I was editing the video and I just realized I forgot to even show you how to add temporary badges and access to people, whether your family members or your, uh, your babysitter that you wanna give them maybe temporary access to the house. So let me walk you through that real quick. When you go in the app, uh, you can tap on the access button at the, at the bottom, and then you have the option to select e-badges or fingerprints. You go ahead, hit add e-badge, and they have two options. One for trusted users, those are your family members, your, the ones that you don't want to restrict access to say, hey, you can only use this for this week and whatnot. And then the second is guest accesses and then uh, grant access for a specific period of time. So trusted user, basically you will enter their name and um, and then you will get an e key that you can share. You can go ahead, simply text this to them. They will get a link that will prompt them not only to download the app, but once they open it, then this key will be automatically go into the app and then we'll walk them through the process to go ahead, set up and use um, their app to be able to access the door and open it up. Same thing with the guest users, just keep in mind that they must activate the code within 72 hours. However, they don't, they don't need to be near the lock to activate it. They just need to go ahead, access uh, the code that you will give them, download the app and then go ahead, uh, set up the key. 
The only I wish I have is once you go ahead and set those up, um, I wanted to have a little bit more flexibility and control over how long and what types of access I want to give them. So for example, if I set a guest uh, e-badge, it would automatically expire in a day. What if I'm out of town for three days and I want to give my neighbor access for three days to come water my plants, for example, and I wanted to have that capability. At least unless there is a way, I was not able to find a way to either edit this after I set up the e-key or to actually initiate and start the e-key that way. The good news is this is only software and maybe with feedback, they will go ahead and adjust this. And the second thing I wanted to share with you was about the, the widget. This supposedly have a widget you can go ahead and add to your phone to have quick access to the lock without entering the app. It's supposed to work with the Flex Touch. I was not able to get it figured out. I sent a message to the company and waiting for them to respond. I will probably put it somewhere in the description or maybe pin a comment about uh, this uh, widget feature because that will be huge because you'll be one or maybe even two steps ahead if you can lock and unlock from a widget versus getting into an app. Back to the video. So this has been it. I do like a lot about this from the material, how easy the installation was and how easy the app is. There is one big flaw that I do want to share with you. So I obviously did not have a door frame for me to install this on, but after careful consideration, I realized that this is much larger than the normal plate you currently have on your door right now. So you do have to do some chisel work probably to try to make room for this to be installed uh, on your door frame. I don't know why that is, but you just need to keep this in mind. This is somehow a little bit larger than normal. Outside of this, I have no complaint about this. At this price point, under 200 bucks, it is a very chic and subtle smart door. As you can see, it's not very intrusive. This has been it. Thanks so much for watching. If you got any questions, drop a comment down below. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. But nonetheless, if you got any questions, let me know. Peace.